Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish and if you're new here, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Today's video is going to be on how I made these Dollar Tree wood trucks into a galvanized planter. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe as it does help my channel to grow. Now, on with the video. All right, so I started off by using these wood trucks that I got from the Dollar Tree back in October during Halloween time. Um, the wood is MDF wood, so it is very, very thin. So I knew that I could cut off those pumpkins fairly easily, and I just used my X-Acto knife to cut them off, and then I sanded them down. So because these trucks needed to be facing the same direction, I needed to remove the pieces on one of the trucks so that I could glue them onto the other side. And this turned out to be a lot more difficult than I thought it would be, although I have heard that it is kind of hard to pop these pieces off. Um, I really found out how difficult it really is. Those things are really stuck on there very well. Whether they used super glue or wood glue, I'm not sure what they used, but yeah, the those pieces were really on there. So I really had to um, kind of work my way with a few different tools to try to get them off, and one of them did break. But um, I knew that that was going to be the back side, so I wasn't really that concerned about about it. And it, you really end up not even being able to tell anyway, so I wasn't that worried about it later on. But um, I almost gave up. I almost got a, another truck and tried it again, but um, I ended up saving this truck and um, it turned out...
yay this is the fun part after that incredibly hard part of taking off all those pieces this was so fun um, and it's really when the truck begins to come to life and uh, you know there's so many different techniques on how to galvanize things and I did a lot of research on it and I just came up with my own technique and hoped that it would turn out okay and it did and I, I really liked what I did um, the next one that I make I might try you know a few different techniques to, to see what other colors maybe I can bring out of it but I really like how it turned out and here I'm using wood filler because I forgot I should have done it in the in the beginning but there's little holes at the top of those trucks because the trucks are supposed to be signs and so there's a little hole for where you could hang it so that's what I'm doing now is just filling in those holes with wood filler So here I'm taking my foam brush and I'm going to be sponging on the metallic silver paint onto the truck and you can see that it just makes it really come to life. The, uh, the paint that's underneath that I just did in uh, pewter gray, that does not need to be dry before you do this step. Um, in fact, it's better if it's still wet when you're doing it because it just blends better. Um, so yeah it's a I love this technique I like the way the the foam brush makes it look and um, it turned out really good now for the cab part I'm using antique wax uh, you can use acrylic paint if you like uh, to stain it it doesn't have to be antique wax I like the way they both look um, the antique wax does take a little bit longer to dry than acrylic paint but they both work I like them both and for the tires or the wheels I'm just using um, black chalk paint nothing special
So I did want to try a different technique. I knew this was going to be the back part of the planter, so I knew like nobody was really probably going to see it, uh, depending on where I put it. <laughs> but I wanted to um, add a little bit of black chalk paint uh, just to see if it gave it um, a different kind of galvanized look. And it did give it a different look, and I liked it, but I didn't like it enough to put it on the front. So I just left the back like that, and um, that, that was that. But I was just experimenting to see what it would look like. <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm using the antique wax again and using the dry brush technique to make it look like there's rust on the truck. And so I'm just using a paper towel to wipe off the excess. I don't want it to be dramatic color. I just want it to look like it's got like little rust spots all over the truck. So just make it look more aged. And um, I think it turned out really good. I, I love it. So now I'm using the antique wax again to stain the cab part of the truck, um, but I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm going to be using a paper towel to wipe off the excess, because uh, I really wanted to have that natural old wood look, and so I'll be doing that. But um, I, I love this antique wax, it just gives it like such a, a, a really, really good look.
Now is another option if you want it to look more distressed. Um, after you do this step, then you can sand it down, maybe add a little um, chalk paint, and then sand it again just to kind of give it a, a more um, rustic look. Um, I didn't do that this time. I might do it on some other ones, but that's just another option if you don't want it to look um, newer. And here I'm putting these little things, they're those things that go on the bottom of chairs or furniture so you don't scuff up your hardwood floors or your tile. And uh, they fit perfectly on those. Um, I just thought it, it made them pop more and also there was one that was broken and I felt like um, it made the, the wheel look better. And so now it's time to glue the, the little crate to the trucks and so I'm using wood glue and also uh, I'm using hot glue and that just ensures that it's not going to be going anywhere because wood glue can take um, a little while to dry and I had just stained it and uh, it wasn't completely dry yet so I just wanted to make sure that everything was going to be nice and secure and it wasn't going to move and so um, that's why I use the combination of both. And here I'm just putting some of those um, floral foam blocks in there. And I got those at Dollar Tree. Actually, the majority of the things that are used in this video, I forgot to mention, the majority of these things are from the Dollar Tree. Uh, there are things, some things that weren't, but I would say the majority of, of the stuff did come from the Dollar Tree. All right, and here is my galvanized pickup truck planter. And it turned out so cute, I loved it. It turned out better than I thought it would. Um, again, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more videos from me, then please don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Please give me a comment. I love to read comments and I respond to all of them. And um, I really appreciate all the support. All right, thank you and have a great day.